Today I'm going to show you how to make a little low profile camera stand. Uh, it allows you to adjust your camera angle for like shooting on a uh, desktop. Angle it down, up, even tilt it slightly. Got a little knob here that you can tighten it. Like if you're shooting up close uh, on something. Uh, very handy. And now uh, let's get into the build. Now I've got me a piece of three quarter inch uh, oak here. I think I'll make it, I'll use that. I set this up, cut a, rip this uh, two inches wide. Okay, now to cross cut this. inches so I'll just line it up here with the edge of the blade The wood you use on this is not critical. You can even use quarter inch plywood or whatever. Alright, now we got these three pieces cut. And the next thing we'll do is we'll uh, drill some holes in there and mark a radius. Now for the ball uh, mount, joint, I picked up a package of uh, one and three quarter inch wooden balls at Hobby Lobby for $3.99. And I was going to use two inch, but you only got four in a package. So I went with the one and three quarter inch. You get six. So now I've uh, taken the two pieces and stuck them together with double-sided tape. I marked a, a hole here, two and a half inches from this end, and another one, uh, one and three-eighths from the sand. Center punched them. Then I drew a little radius around the side with my handy-dandy John Heiss uh, uh, compass. Boy, this thing comes in real handy. You need to look him up and, and make one of these. They're really, uh, really nice. Okay, now I'll drill a inch and a quarter hole through here and a clearance hole for a quarter inch bolt through here.
now drill a 17-64 hole for the other one. Now I've got uh, got this all sanded up here in the belt sander, so I guess I can remove these now. And then, uh, then we can sand these other edges, inside part. Okay, now what I did here, was I put the Forstner bit back in, brought it down, locked it, and then clamped uh, one of the side pieces to the table. And then I put in a uh, 7 seconds drill. And I marked the ball. I don't want to drill on the end grain. So I marked it on the side here. So now we can go ahead and we will drill a uh, hole uh, 5 eighths of an inch deep. the hole. Next we'll uh, run a tap down there, quarter 20 tap, and then it'll be ready for the stud. Okay I've got my uh, my tap here and uh, we'll take the ball and run it, run the tap in. Okay, I guess that's it. Bring it back out. And I don't know if you can see it or not, but you got a little bit of thread there. Okay, and then we'll uh glue and screw the stud in there. Now I've got these two pieces here and I want to find the distance approximate distance between these two on the outside is uh, about two inches and the inside dimension is what we're going to use is an inch and a quarter. So that other little piece I cut, I have to cut this down to an inch and a quarter so it'll fit in between these two. Okay, now I've uh, cut a stud here, three and a quarter inches long, drilled a hole in a half inch dowel, about an inch deep, put some glue in there, threaded it in. That'll be a handle. And then on the ball, I cut a stud uh, two and three quarter inches long. And I glued it in there. Uh, let that dry. 
then I cut down the center piece so now we'll get ready here to put it together I'll take these two pieces here put this stud through here nut on there and then uh, I fit this piece here in so that when I tighten this it's about an equal distance up and down uh, now this will be to mount the camera on and I'll just take a, uh, a wing nut and put it on upside down if I can get it on there okay so the next step then is I can just use this to clamp it when I glue it Take some more glue. Put it on either side here. And then we'll slide that in underneath. Line it up. And clamp it down. I really like these little nut holders here. I made them a while back along with some wood wing nuts and I really love those things. This allows you to turn this and there's enough friction here that you don't have to hold on to the nut. You can just turn the, the knob there. So I'll let that dry. And that pretty much completes the assembly part of the uh, stand, except for I got a, a little base here. I'm not sure if I'm going to glue that on there. I'll have to check, see how much weight the camera has. I might need a little bigger base. Not sure. So, that anyway. There it is. The camera will screw on the top here and then the wing nut will turn it up to, to hold it in the position. So here it is uh, put together and uh, very easy to adjust. Tilt it down tilt it back, even have a little sideways tilt here in case you're on uneven surface. Uh, also you can make a little adapter here that will sit on here for your uh, iPod or your iPhone. Uh, I think I'll get a lot of use out of this. I've had a couple occasions where we tried to take a group shot with a timer and I uh, just couldn't get it to sit on the table uh, properly, but this will help. 
Thank you. I hope you like it. And please subscribe to my YouTube channel. There's another shot of it finished. <laughs>